Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Spinistry Chat. I am your race host, Kevin Lee. And today we're talking about North Texas mountain bike cross country racing and how that fits in with Club Spinistry or how Club Spinistry fits in with North Texas cross country mountain bike racing. We will make this as brief as possible, but I know there's a little bit of confusion out there. So it'll take a little bit of detail and explanation to make sure everyone is on the same page. But if there are additional questions, please do not hesitate to message us. Uh, most likely, anyone that's interested in mountain bike racing uh, in North Texas is probably already aware that we're doing some spinistry events uh, around mountain bike racing. Uh, I, I do also understand that it may not be crystal clear in everyone's mind how that works. Like we're doing free events, but it's only for club members. Can we, you know, are you going to have people pay for them that aren't club members? We're going to talk about that. The simple snapshot is if you're into mountain bike racing in North Texas, joining club spinistry is going to be a really good deal for you. For mountain bike racing, a club spinistry membership is meant specifically as a mountain bike racing club. It's, our gravel stuff is not going away. That's still a big focus of ours. But the gravel, the gravel part of it kind of has two sides. Gravel is non-competitive riders and racers. And we take care of both. In the mountain biking community, it's really going to be more racing specific which helps us focus our weekly training rides and club rides and group events and things like that to a very, very specific group. Whereas when we do our gravel events, we kind of have to hit all, all of the demographics, all of the targets all at once. So from the mountain bike side of things, think of Club Spinistry as aimed specifically at mountain bike racers. At the end of this, we'll go over the different membership options, including a trial membership for people that are, aren't are sure it's for them. I get that. We're not saying it's for everyone. And what we do is going to evolve over time as well. But we're, what we're going to start with here is an explanation of what we are doing and what is literally around the corner tomorrow night as I'm recording this. But one thing I want to make crystal clear and avoid any confusion Club Spinistry and the Spinistry mountain bike events are not part of the DFW Summer Series. DFW Summer S Series at Irwin Park, that's Sean McAfee, fantastic friend of mine. We help him uh, with the timing on those events, but those are all his. He's done a fantastic job really getting the uh, mountain bike racing community engaged uh, up there at Irwin Park each week. and. They're taking a couple weeks off the first couple weeks of July. So we're filling a gap with our own mountain bike racing events while the DFW Summer Series is taking their summer break. Uh, this is, you know, this isn't a head to head competition with them. Once Sean starts the Summer Series back up, we won't be doing our weeknight races, but we'll still be offering some training rides. We'll talk about that a little bit. In the future now along those lines uh sean has been gracious enough to if you are a club spinistry member it does give you a five dollar discount on your dfw uh summer series entries as well but please don't use that as the only reason to join club spinistry if you're, just, if you're doing it just to get five bucks off a of dfw summer series go ahead and give that money to sean instead of to club spinistry so let's talk about the club spinistry mountain bike racing event that we have uh, planned imminently at River Legacy tomorrow night, July 8th. And uh, I, I know this video is going to become dated very quickly, but a lot of the information will still pertain down the road and we will be adding more events. Again, another topic we'll be touching on a little bit more as we get a touch deeper into this. So along the lines of the DFW Summer Series being, it's a short track race. Uh, what we're going to be doing this Thursday night at River Legacy in Arlington is more of a traditional full-length XC 
we're calling it a training race. It's, I mean, it's not meant, you know, we're not going to have 400 people out there racing or anything like that. Have no idea how many people we're going to get out there at this point. Um, and the idea will be to do more of these weeknight races and events and time trials and things like that on an ongoing basis when it makes sense to and when it fits into our schedule. Uh, but some of them might be kind of pop-up-ish where we, uh, you know, a week in advance, hey, we're going to be here on Wednesday night or Tuesday evening or Monday or whatever else. But this one's, uh, this one's pretty much in stone. Uh, Thursday, July 8th at River Legacy Park. We're going to do Thursday cross-country racing, and it is going to be racing categories. We'll, we'll go in depth here on how our racing categories work you know, shortly. I know that's also a little confusing to folks, but it'll make perfect sense after we go over it. So we have a, a group one single lap training race and a combined group two and three single lap training race. Now what I want folks to understand on the front end, in spinistry categories, racing categories, or what we call race groups, one is the least fast group and five is the most fast group. Group five is basically pro level fast. Group one is lesser. And we'll explain how these groups are fundamentally different from uh, USA Cycling categories when we go ov over that. And I think it'll make sense to people uh, when we get a little bit more detail. So we have a group one single lap race and the lap at River Legacy this week is about nine and a half miles, if I remember correctly. It does not include EKG or Funtown, and it does include the new Ridge Loop. So that works out to about a nine and a half mile loop. And Group 1 single lap racers will go out basically first. We'll give them a head start. And then for single lap racers, one nine and a half mile lap, we're combining the two threes for a combined start time, okay? Um, and we'll use these results to define, better define which is the appropriate group. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit more in the uh, racing groups section. Uh, then after that group goes off, we have some two lap races. Uh, so basically if you're a group one or group two level racer, you're just racing the opportunity to one to race one lap group three racers can choose one lap or two laps and then as you start getting more into the into the group fours which is going to be traditional cat one territory podium cat two guys for the most part and and gals um group four will go with a two lap race and then we'll have a group five two lap race if there's any of those level of racers there. Now, what could likely happen, particularly in this uh, two lap race, we may go ahead and start all of these folks together or stagger them based on their grouping, but the results will be parsed out based on which group they signed up for. Uh, so that, that's the basic format, and this is a free race if you're a Club Spinistry member. It's a training race, and that's what Club Spinistry is intended for for mountain bikers. We're going to put together some more structured group events, races, we call them training races, but then we'll also do some full-blown on-the-weekend uh, XC races as well. Scheduled for once a month right now is the, is the idea. Uh, and if you watched my video about the mountain bike survey results, mountain bike racing survey results, we go into a fairly in-depth explanation of, of how that works and some of the obstacles we're up against. So let's go, let's start talking about these race groups again, group one, group two, group three. How do I know which one I'm in? Excellent question. Uh, if you, when you go to the uh, sign up page, you can see all the details about our race and here's a little bit of a description down here on how to determine your appropriate spinistry race group and basically what you do is you look at the current rankings list of people we have that have been grouped based on performance at 
recent events and we'll we'll show you those details momentarily here so there's a link at the bottom that says click here for current rankings and that takes you to this page here so this is a breakdown of our current spinistry race groups based on recent races and events it starts at the fastest group group five and they're highlighted in the black band think of it as a black belt okay then group four in red group three in yellow group two in green and then group one in white again group one is the least fast group group five is the fastest group and these are these racers have been grouped not in their finishing order per se in the races that they've done uh they and we've used the DFW Summer Series and our River Raid Mountain Bike Race at River Legacy to generate the results so far, but we'll always be updating this li list based on our most recent events. Uh, so like this Thursday night racing, it will add people or change their categories uh, based on their performance. If you haven't done any of these events and you're not sure where you stand, if, if you race regularly, most likely you're going to recognize people that are of comparable ability. And that's the idea is you, you come to the list, you say, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm comparable to Chad Plumley and Toby Ryder. Okay, that puts you solidly in group four. That's the race that you sign up for. Or you, you're looking at the, you know, you think you're a cat four in USA Cycling. You're looking at the fours. None of these names ring any bells. Oh, but I come down here and in group two, there's Brian Hoyt and Michael Hoyt. I know them. Yeah, we're comparable ability. I belong in group two. That's, that's the idea of how you utilize that. That said, if you're from outside the area or you don't haven't raced in a while and you don't recognize any of these names, send us a message. Give us access to your Strava file or other race results in another part of the country. We can usually use that data to, to best calculate where you might fit. And even if we're off a little bit, once you go out there and race, we'll be able to use your actual results to properly categorize you down the road. And along those lines, we'll just touch on this a little bit. Now, if, if we have you miscategorized, if you look at this and you go, there's no way I'm a four. Um, I forgot to tell you, Kevin, I cut that lap short at the last race. Okay, let us know and we'll 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 reconfigure your groupings at that point or if you're listed as a two and you say yeah kevin i i had a bad day that day uh i had a flat tire and blah 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 so my time was really long oh okay if you're miscategorized we'll categor categorize you appropriately uh if and we've, we've already had this start happening we do this on the gravel side as well so we've seen it particularly on gravel where we're we're ratcheting people up as their fitness improves coming back from COVID. Uh, if your first race, you were a two and your next race, you were a, towards the top of the one list. We'll keep you at a two and see what your next race is like. If your first race was a two and the next race, you really moved into the middle of the pack with the threes. We'll probably go ahead and catch you up at that point. Uh, and again, what we use is comparative data. We take all of the results, and even if people were racing in different races, we see what their lap times were for the race that they signed up for versus the fastest people or the, the, the slowest people and see kind of where they fit in that range. And that usually gives us a pretty good idea of what the appropriate category is. So that's where it's different from USA Cycling, uh, Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the way the USA Cycling stuff works, you cat up based on number of podiums or number of starts and, and combined with number of podiums and things. There's nothing wrong with that model. We're not saying this is a better model. We're just saying this one is different. This one is based on your actual speed on the trail is basically the way it works. So there, theoretically, if somebody's just naturally fast, and they just started racing this year, 
that naturally fast person can be racing in the in the fours right off the bat as opposed to having to start in a lower group and work their way up through multiple starts and podiums and things like that and then request them to be catted up this is this is based on actual performance so that's how the that's how the groupings work and all you have to do to get grouped is show up to one of the events that we time and we do time the dfw summer series and obviously the club spinistry events that's how spinistry race groups work at the moment so what we said before our thursday night race this week is specifically meant for club spinistry members and it's free for club spinistry members but we don't expect people to get an annual membership and just for one race the idea is we're going to we're going to be delivering particularly for mountain bike racers we're going to be delivering ongoing events and benefits and things like that uh, along those lines we already have a couple on the books so if you get your club's ministry membership so we have the july 8th thursday night race at river legacy uh, we have july 15th a week from tomorrow night that we'll also be doing uh some club spinistry cross-country race training that's a second week that the dfw summer series is off uh so the idea is this if river legacy happens if the trails close or gets rained out or whatever re whatever else may happen we'll push tomorrow's race on to the following Thursday and just do the same thing the next week. Right now, the trail looks like it should be open later today and it looks like the weather's in our favor. So we don't, we expect to have River Legacy race this week as planned on July 8th. That means once that happens, July 15th, we'll look at doing something else somewhere else. And that'll be the idea. Uh, we'll probably, most likely, we'll probably do a time trial format at a different trail a week from the 8th. So on July 15th, we'll most likely do a time trial format. We may also do some small group races or something like that, side-by-side -side stuff if people want to practice that. Again, that will be free for club spinistry members. Uh, we do a lot of other things as benefits for your club membership we'll talk about that in a different video somewhere down there. right now we're talking about specifically the mountain bike racing and the mountain bike race training benefits and what we plan to do is along the way do other weeknight events like this but what we're also going to be doing is our once a month full weekend uh cross-country races uh just the right you know traditional Real deal racing, open to the general public. And what? so we have uh, August 28th, paperwork came through yesterday, signed, sealed, and delivered. We'll be racing at Rowlett Creek Preserve Saturday, August 28th. And as a benefit for Club Spinistry members, this race will be free for Club Spinistry members as well. That's included in the membership. I'll be perfectly honest most of our weekend races won't be free to club spinistry members but you will get club spinistry members will get a highly reduced entry but this time for this event we're making sure anyone that signs up during the summer specifically for mountain bike racing they're they'll feel confident they're getting their money's worth between the entry at uh, for the rtp race and one or two weeknight summer things that we'll do along the way, you'll get your money's worth just out of that, let alone what we do the other 10 months of the year after August as well. And we will be doing stuff every every month at least. Uh, and again, the plan will be to do more weeknight stuff. Sean has the summer covered really well for mountain bike racing with the DFW Summer Series. We recognize that that's not convenient for everyone, but we we consider that the a plan for summer mountain bike training and racing uh in north texas like i said we'll do stuff other nights of the week here and there time trials and at other trails 
mostly to help people out that aren't able to make it to Irwin Park on a Thursday night. We're not trying to take away uh, from the DFW Summer Series, though. Uh, so realistically, after Summer Series shuts down, then you'll see us get more uh, active with our weeknight events. We got some really cool ideas, some really things, fun things planned along those lines. So that's the snapshot. Now to go back to the club's spinistry memberships and how they work. All right. So basically we have multiple levels of membership. We have an individual membership. It's $75 a year. That includes partner discounts, uh, you know, the free spinistry club member only events, things like that. Our regular events, both gravel and mountain bike racing, you'll get substantial discounts on. Those discounts usually are at the very least 25%, usually 33 to 50% off what the general public would pay for, for our events. Uh, but we do a lot of member only events and those are either free or just at the most basic cost to cover, you know, like we will do overnight trips and things like that. So if we have to rent a campground, uh, it's just some basic cost to cover that uh, along those lines. So we have an individual family me or individual membership that's $75 a year. We have an annual family membership that's $100 a year, includes up to four people at, in the same household. Don't try to play the game of, please don't. It's just, we're, we're doing this to benefit families and try to encourage families to go out and bike together. Uh, you know, don't don't call somebody a family member that's your best bud okay uh we have other options that kind of help along those lines we have a team membership uh it's 200 dollars for up to six team members when we do this specifically for some of the but we're going to open it up to the mountain bike race teams as well it's meant for the the gravel teams that maybe two or three of the members ride spinistry events on a regular basis and they already have a membership and they've got some other team members that might just show up for a bigger race here and there sort of thing uh we're letting we're wanting to encourage those teams to support each other uh whenever possible there's some and you, you get a, a team tent area and things like that as well so team membership is up to six members uh, we have a shop membership that's fairly similar, but uh, the shop membership can distribute the shop uh, entries to their employees or customers or whatever they they prefer along those lines. And you get some advertising benefit out of that as well. Uh, what we have introduced for folks that aren't completely convinced that a club spinistry membership is for them or they're only interested in doing that weekly event they just want hey i only just want to show up for that thursday night race at river legacy uh so we do a two-week trial membership 25 bucks and, you know it's a basically a weeknight race entry and that gets you two weeks a two-week trial membership so the 25 dollar trial membership if you signed up today you would be signed up for the RCP race and the time trial or whatever it is we do on the 15th as well. So basically 1250 per night to try it, to try those events out, see if it's worth your time to join club spinistry on an ongoing basis. And what we'll do is if you, if you do the trial membership, show up for a couple of our club spinistry events or utilize the discounts for things that are within that two week window, you wouldn't be able to sign up for the two week, trial to register for the August event, for example, because that's further out than your two week window. But after you try the two week trial, if you decide you want that full membership within 30 days of that of that trial, we would just go ahead and discount your your annual membership by that twenty five dollars. I think that's a pretty fair test drive right there. So for those that aren't wanting or aren't able to sign up for the full membership at this time, but they still 
want to come out and race Thursday night at River Legacy, just go ahead and sign up for that two-week membership. When you do go to register, it will give you the option at registration if you aren't a Club Spinistry member to go ahead and sign up for Club Spinistry. So you can do it all just from the registration page. And I'll include the link to the registration page in the video description and also in the comments where we post this. Any other questions that you might have or anything I missed or anything I got confusing about, please send me a message. We're very excited to be diving head first into mountain bike racing. We've done mountain bike racing, uh, quite a bit of stuff along in the endurance mountain biking for years. And it's something we tried to let others cultivate for the community along the way and kind of stepped aside for the most part. Uh, and then kept coming back because there was a need to be filled and nobody was filling. At this point, we're just it's, we're just moving forward. We're going to do it. We're not we're not we're not going to we're we're not going to sit back and wait for others to do it. We're just going to move forward. We're going to we're going to highly promote and engage North Texas mountain bike racing, and it isn't for us to take over the world. The idea is that this is a developmental area this is a developmental series it's a training series it lets people build up their fitness and skill levels so that they can do state level racing national level racing international racing or train up for that big national level bucket list event or whatever else so whatever we can do to help you folks with that please let us know the club's ministry membership aspect of this gives us tremendous flexibility. That's why we're really encouraging it. Once you're a club's ministry member, basically you're insured for our events at that point. So we don't have to pay for your insurance at an individual event level. We can just, that's why we were able to do pop-up events. We can say, hey, we're all meeting here on Wednesday afternoon at 430. Come join us if you can sort of thing. And we can do a pretty organized event on the fly, specifically for Club Spinistry members. And um, that's the benefit to you guys to join the club. We're able to give you lots of different options. And here and there along the way, we'll be staging those traditional events that are open to everybody uh, for that real deal, cross-country racing, big crowds, and things like that. Uh, thanks for joining us. I know I rambled on a little bit longer than I planned, but hopefully... I was able to shine the light on some, some areas that people weren't quite able to see. Talk to you again soon. Spinistry out.